welcome back friends in this video i'm going to talk about genetic mutations and i quote unquote my saying here is that if you look at this video and watch this video you don't need to see any other video about genetic mutation again because i'm going to talk about precisely about all the different aspects of genetic mutation different types of genetic mutation and what are the different types and what are the examples of those genetic mutation directly in this video so stay tuned and watch all through so let's talk about the genetic mutation the first thing we want to know what is a genetic mutation right genetic mutation is any kind of change in the dna it means any type of change in the dna that may or may not be inheritable right so any change in the dna and or gene because dna gene same things right so any type of nucleotide change in dna or you know large scale in chromosome that ultimately leads to the change of phenotype of that organism right because whatever we're looking at from the basic point of view of genetics you're looking at me or you're looking at a plant which is tall tree that is a phenotype of that plant it has a flower white colored flower it's a phenotype of that flower due to any kind of simple change in the mutation of the coloring gene of the flower let's say the flower turn into red in that case what we know there is something small change in the dna which will turn and change the phenotype of that organism in that case the change the color of the flower because color of the flower here is a type of phenotypic change right so that is called the mutation so let's say here change so in, in nutshell change in dna which will reflect the change in phenotype but again as we will go on and talk about different aspects of genetic mutation you are going to see there are certain type of mutation where the phenotypic change is not that much reflected by the dna change or the gene change you're going to see that but majorly this is a kind of definition of of a genetic mutation now why genetic mutation why mutation understanding is important because you know mutation can change things and once we can change certain thing it what it will produce it will produce more and more variety in cell right so this mutation is a raw material for variation so it is a raw material for variation it gives variation to an organism it can provide variation to a whole population and the gene pool that's very very important it varies thing changes thing right another thing about mutation whenever you heard the name of mutation most of the time we think of something bad something wrong because mutation ultimately leads to deleterious effect onto the organism or cell it's not giving any positive effect in some cases it does give some positive effect and we call it a gain of function mutation or some positive effect mutation but most of the time mutation means bad thing mutation means not good right so mutation is bad it produces certain changes though it provides some variety but it creates certain problem in that organism or the population right so and sometimes if you look at the whole population level some cases mutation gives something extra advantage to the population to survive in the natural selection that thing occurs because variance again helps in natural selection and helps in survival right so here comes the link between all this natural selection and finally it can help in survival and evolution so survival after natural selection means evolution so this is the basic thing about mutation so once we know this thing now understanding mutation is very important especially the genetic mutation is very very important because it's the change in the genetic level or the gene level or the chromosome level right so so the change why it is so important because we, if we look at the central dogma of biology what we know the central dogma is telling us an important fact that we have the major thing we have the head or the brain of a cell that is the dna we have the dna 
from that DNA we have we are producing RNA especially mRNA there which can which contains all the codes for producing proteins which can eventually finally produces proteins these are the sequential events of central dogma now imagine if there is any single nucleotide problem or single gene based problem in the DNA it will produce lot of RNA from the DNA so for example there is only one DNA that DNA gets some problem there are say 100 RNAs produced from that DNA all the RNAs will carry that problem and there are probably 50,000 proteins are produced by translating that RNA so 50,000 proteins will continue with that genetic problem so that is why C this is what we call as an amplification we call it a amplification right so if there is any problem or any mutation at the earlier stage of the DNA level it will be amplified in future right and we don't want that so for that we need to have a proper understanding of the cell and cell also know that that mutation is dangerous mutation in the DNA level is the most dangerous thing mutation in the protein level due to any reason can be tolerable in the mRNA level dangerous in the DNA level highly dangerous so cell also know that now the origin of these mutations can be of different type it can be spontaneous origin it can be you know any kind of origin you know, induced origin whatever but whatever type if there is any problem during the process of production of RNA or production of protein due to mutation that is going to last long and that is going to cost the cell a lot that's why there are mechanisms of replenishing these situations there are mechanisms to prevent us from these mutations so if even if the mutation occurs even after all those checking stages inside the cell right so that is very dangerous during the DNA production which can be produced from DNA to DNA that's called the replication there can be problems there can be mutation during the production of DNA to mRNA which is called the transcription there can be mutation during the production of proteins from the mRNA which is translation there can be mutation right and during the accessibility of the DNA for transcription because in eukaryotic cell DNA is not just present as the DNA it is coiled around histone proteins so during that accessibility there can also be mutations so there are many different stages inside the cell from the production of the DNA to the production of the protein mutations can result mutation can occur but remember if there is a mutation in the DNA level it is going to be amplified further in the future so for that reason cell need to prevent that for that reason we need to understand what are the different types of mutation for as in any part of biology we are in but understanding of mutation in the solid understanding is very very important right so once we know this let's talk about the types of mutation different types of mutation